7.30am we're heading down to the bus station for a bus to Lydia there's the ascensor but as you can see today is one of those super super misty Nazare days our last day trip out today we're going to Lay Rear from Nazare on Red Express it's 8.12am should be about 40 minutes away yeah, brilliant turns out there are local buses that go as well that are slightly cheaper but during summer they only go once a day in the weekend so Red Express is definitely the better option. So good trip to Ladia and yet I'm so disappointed no more free toilets here they've gone and installed blinking paid toilets 50 cents so it's a sad oh, day oh such a sad day <laughs> there are loos in the park uh, not too sure if they're open at the moment it's oh like, yeah the brown ones yeah. just down there yeah <laughs> Good tip, okay. And yes, happy to report that at 9am on a Saturday morning these public toilets are open and they're free. It really is so lovely coming along this way. The bridge and you've got your skateboard park and over there on the other side of the river is an aeroplane. Oh my word. And in the river itself, can you see the ducks? Lovely. Heading slowly onto the fruit and veg market and admiring the street art beautiful too. street art and this is so cool there are the sluice gates didn't even know these were here I have to say like we've all remarked that this has been the the cleanest river we've seen so far it's lovely and clean and running fast it really is so pretty walking along here, isn't it? Yeah, the river's lovely, beautiful. Yeah. The, the Lady of Market has changed again. This side is now closed and this side is now open. Wow, it's going to be interesting to see what it's like now. Wow, it's hustling and bustling, all very busy, yeah. It's really cool. Remember Saturday and Monday are the two busy days? Wow, it's amazing now that it's all set up in this new place. Oh, look at the fish. And there's seeds and things. And through there I can see vegetables. Oh, the fish looks lovely. Lula's 18 a kilo, Carapal 6, Ravalo 13. Oh, and here we have a butcher's. I do like this new layout. So much cleaner and lighter and brighter than the last one. The peaches look amazing, so we've just bought two of the yellow ones. Two euros fifty a kilo. And right now she's gonna wash them for us. That's yeah. really cool. Really yeah. cool. Washing and drying them for us. Muito obrigado, senhora. Excellent. Great, that's breakfast sorted. One euro, two. Lovely. Peaches. Yeah. Oh, look at the colour. Mm -hmm. Such lovely, fresh looking fish. Oh, my word. And here we've got the good old bacalhau. If only you could smell it. It's got that, <laughs> that quite a pungent odour. Yes. It? <laughs> uh, enormous. Ah, not to say the fruit and veggie section's out here proper. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all of the Cape gooseberries. The Epitalus and the Pity Pity. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, it smells amazing. See, it looks just so cool now. The outdoor bit and it's lovely. It smells nice too. Yeah, it smells lovely. All the fresh fruit and veg. And up here you've got the museum. That's the back of the Museum of Moving Images. It's a stunning castle up on the hill. And now we're walking along to the other market. The Tuesday and Saturday market board there for the castle and they've taken the barrier away wow someone's selling firewood but you've still got all your second-hand things it'd be good to have a look around so cool here you have your grills and your larger grills wow this section by the stadium seems to be the plants okay that's pretty cool, all the lovely summer plants. So this section, it's like the poultry, the 
fruit and veg, the plants, oh, wow. the chickens and the rabbits, beautiful ducklings. The plant section of this market is absolutely amazing. As well as the normal fruit plants that you'd normally find, we found exotic varieties such as feijoa, tamarillos, guava, maracuya, passion fruit. These are plants that the New Zealanders are used to, but are very rarely grown in the UK as far as I know. The stall owners are friendly and helpful. If you're living in Leiria and you want to stock your garden, this is the place to come. Goji. I've never seen a goji fruit before, yeah. goji flower. No, it's hard to see it this way. Kiwi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kiwi. Us. <laughs> kiwi. Uh, different is uh, variedad is the, the kiwi. Uh, this is the yellow one. Gold and, the, and green oh, as well. Yeah. Uh. Lee, can you ask how much they are? Crescem bastante in Nova Zelanda. Sim, sim. Ah, sim, sim, sim. É uma trepadeira. Sim, da quinta. Este também é muito bom, que é uma ameixa muito pequenina. Yeah. Uh, 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 Mirabella. Mirabella. Look like green yeah. plums. Amaychera, yeah. So it's a little, uh, little yeah. small plum, yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm. Um, as kiwi, uh, as plantas de kiwi, quanto custa? Cinco. 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 Wow. That's fine. Wow. Portanto, then depois há uns a dez. Ah. They're much grander. Yeah, exactly. so they've got some for ten that are bigger, and wow. the little ones are five. So, <laughs> get your kiwis going, yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, this stall is selling dragon fruit. It's got tamarillo as well, tree tomatoes. Chili. Got some more passion fruit. This is an interesting looking fruit I haven't seen before. And then, yeah, your lovely red guava. Oh, and madronio. They use that to make that liquor down in Monchique. So cool. Avocado trees as well. And mango. Honestly, yeah, Lady Market, great place to come and buy your fruit trees. So we come around from the gardening and animal section. Is that lovely stadium? And over here is the, well, it seems to be the only like food store. Just a morning snack in the market, a uh, little cafe they've got here. Look at this Bifana, two euros fifty for that bad boy. That wow. is awesome. I've already had a big chunk of yeah. <laughs> out of the corner. Two bits That's of fantastic. meat. And a beer for breakfast, why not? <laughs> One thirty for a Sagres. Other wow. people are having wine, so yeah, yeah, all good. So waiting for Gaz, he's just getting toasted ham sandwich and Ma has like an almond pastry mm. and a small Dem coffee. Small coffee yeah. was 70, the almond thing was 130. I was hoping there was going to be second hand stalls here but it all seems to be new stuff today. We've got shoes over here, got more shoes, We've got loads of different types of socks. Uh, here's one. So it says they're two euros fifty. So I'll have a look. There might be some shorts, but no. Once again, it all looks like tops. Really need some shorts. So there's that wonderful little cable car going up to the castle. It takes a little while, but it's really smooth. Why In car park, Saturday market. Remember, it's Tuesdays and Saturdays. The public swimming pool. Yeah. So walk this way around now to the castle. It's got a nice viewpoint from up here. Isn't it amazing? So up here is what our tickets are going to the castle. Um, Lee and I was two euros ten each. And this is so wonderful. Um, at the moment because it's summer, there's gonna be a free falconry exhibition. The free falconry display that they have running in the summer at Leiria Castle is a real bonus. It goes for about half an hour and is done in Portuguese, Spanish and English. It's entertaining for the kids, informative, with an emphasis on conservation. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> There's a new palace. And the church is that way. And over there, we've got Lee, Mara and Gaz walking up into the keep. 
view from up here is just so spectacular. Whether it be like a sunny day today or grey and cloudy, where it was when we came in March. It's so cool just walking around and looking. I love this view of the stadium. And there's the Saturday market below. So what do you think of the view from the top here, Ma? Oh, I think it's great, eh? It's see for everywhere. It's really wonderful. And turns out there's a wedding at the stay down there. How cool and an amazing place to have it. It's so fresh and the wind the breeze is nice. Yeah. Excellent. And just looking down on those other parts, how much higher we are. Yes. Yeah, when you look down at the church and at the new palace. The new palace is where that amazing terrace is that you see from the town below. And that concludes the tour of Leiria Castle. Gary, impressions? Absolutely blown away. Yeah, to be cool. honest. Yeah. yeah, blown away. Got your money's worth? Hell yes. <laughs> well worth coming and the extra bonus of the falconry. Yeah, yeah. That was icing on the cake. Yeah, totally was. And um, yeah. We're going to be down there by the cathedral. Yeah, we're coming we're down here, to the bell tower, and there's a nice lift there which will save us walking down these long. Add steps to the cathedral over here and to the town below. And Mandy's just down there sorting us some lunch out. The beauty of Leiria. There's a solution to getting down those steps. Good choice. Almost feels like you're cheating. <laughs> yeah, and let's cheat. The end of the end of pew well. <laughs> what went wrong there? Don't know. <laughs> the dumb son-in-law took him to the wrong lift. That's the one that goes up to the top. We want. The one that goes down. <laughs> Son okay. pushing the wrong buttons as usual. Oops, yeah, yeah, I often do that, <laughs> even on the uh, the camera. <laughs> Take two. Okay, let's go. Take two, here we go. <laughs> See, the bell went. My son in law got it right, Lee. Well done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the swimming pool over there. Oh, that's nice. Cool, eh? Oh. oh, cool. Oh, I feel like cool. How good is that? And then you're straight out until the beautiful cathedral, the say of Leiria, right here. We found the restaurant Porto Artur, which is just between Rua de Reta and uh, the square with the, the, the poet guy in it. I can't remember, we'll put the name above. Yeah. But only eight euros for the Prato de Dia, which is very good. The uh, menu de Dia. Menu de Dia, which includes the main plate, which we'll show you in a bit. Drinks. Uh, 250 ml of wine, yeah, olives, bread and dessert or coffee, so excellent bargain. So the bitokes have arrived first, quite a um, runny looking egg, please. Reasonable. Uh, Getting it to try. Yeah, excellent. Oh and it looks as though, here comes wow. our seafood beans. Wow, very cool Wow. Look at that. Oh, it's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 The wonderful Excellent. owner. Yes. Uh, Senor, Tim, a moyo picante? Yeah. Nice to get some spicy sauce. A wonderful, but. Look at that. It looks great. Really need to get a photo. I'm just going to pause this. Actually, no, Ma, you try it a tiny bit, and then I'm going to get a photo. It's hard to sink these things sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> this is awesome, man. This is just what I've been waiting for. Oh, brilliant. We were actually going to go to one of our other uh, favourite places, but they just ran out of carne porco alentejano. So, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we came here and said, and this place is actually one euro cheaper 
eight euros and includes bread. A really good meal and some impressive street art right next to it. So I really like that on the yacht in there. Little yeah. tiny clay thing. But yes. Oh, wonderful. But yeah, some of the uh, favourite street art on Rua Directa. I'm hearing some good new noises from over there. Is it nice, Shelley? <laughs> it's really, yeah. I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll have to come back to later. <laughs> and what do you think of your stoke, guys? This is such a, a traditional like Portuguese dish, pork steak with an egg on top. Yeah, egg's perfect. I like runny eggs. Mm -hmm. cool. Pork steak, beautiful. And it's really good. Not hard, tender. Brilliant. And guys had the choice of sagresh or sukabak, and so of course he went <laughs> And how's the mousse? Uh, lovely, maracoya, passion fruit. Sweet and delicious, passion Brilliant. fruity. <laughs> It takes some skill driving down Rua Direta. It's so narrow. Ambulance has to be very careful. Unfortunately, the wing mirrors don't fold in. Not a lot of space. So impressed by this. The last time we saw something similar was in Vilnius, in Lithuania. So from the fire hydrant, they've got a drinking fountain attached. That's so wonderful. Basically saying like water for everyone to enjoy. This is the fourth time I've visited Lady Air and I just keep finding more and more things. Look at this. It is the walking trails network of Lady Air. Four kilometers in total, two and a half hours. It looks so cool. I mean, we've just discovered so much today that we'd never seen before. This really is a very, very pretty city. I think it's a very livable city as well. It's small enough to be interesting. Mellow, it's got a good vibe. Yeah, I like it. So remember, just outside the bus station is this lovely park with the incredible view up to the castle. And look at it, just the trees and so, so, so pretty. An amazing place to come and relax. Oh, it's the Jardim Louis de Camois. Absolutely perfect. Such an incredible place to come on a sunny Saturday afternoon. Tamara and Gaz, you've spent the day in Lady Year. What are your thoughts on it? It's yeah. pretty relaxed. It went for hordes of tourists around like other places we've been to. Yeah. 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 And yep. Castle was really good fun walking around that, relaxed around that. Yeah. Pretty little town. Yeah. yeah. I good, could definitely live here. A couple of good eats. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. A couple of good eats. Lunch was good. Yeah. yeah. No, brilliant little town, love it, very friendly, open, lots of greenery, park. Yeah, that's so cool, I'm really yeah. pleased. Here's our Red Expressos bus. Yeah, We're ready to whisk us back to Nazare, good old Red Expressos.